Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Avery and in today's video I'm going to be doing a Transfer Tuesday. So Transfer Tuesday is the day of the week where here in the personal finance community on YouTube we transfer our money in the right direction. I'm going to do this using my personal finance software called YNAB or You Need a Budget and there's a link down below if you want to try a 34 day free trial. So let's go ahead and get into Transfer Tuesday. First thing I want to talk about is what am I actually saving for? Like, what are my current financial goals? I have three current financial goals. My first one is I'm trying to save up any extra money that I can for my dog's doggy daycare. So I have a dog named Cece. She is a 10 week old Shih Tzu. And I don't know if you guys heard that, but she barked in the background. So she must have heard me say her name, but she um, is a 10 week old Shih Tzu and she uh, needs to get doggy daycare. So obviously she can't have it yet because, or she can't go to it yet because she's not old enough. But once she is old enough, she is definitely probably going to go at least once a week. So I'm trying to save extra money towards that. My second goal is my Roth IRA. I do have a goal to max out my Roth IRA. I'm 25 years old. So that is important for me to max it out because one, it's my financial goal. Two, um, the more money I invest now, the less money I actually have to invest when I'm older. So I'm trying to make sure I take advantage of the time horizon of investing or my personal finances. The third thing that I'm currently saving for, which is a new goal for this week, is a student loans. So I do owe a little over $22,000 in student loans. Um, they do go back into repayment starting on October 1st, I think is when my first payment is due, technically. But I do want to start putting money towards them now. Quick intermission for my girl Cece. Cece is so precious and I love her so much already. So here she is. She is a little over two pounds. She's very tiny. Back to what we were working on. I'm going to go ahead and transition over to the software YNAB so I can allocate the funds as I need to. So I do have, if you see me looking over here, this is why. So I have a little over 420 seven dollars that i can allocate towards my financial goals this week the first thing i want to do is i want to take 27 dollars off of the top and put it in my roth ira so i'm going to add 27 dollars to this account or to this category so that brings me down to 400 dollars for my pet i my pet my doggy daycare i do want to start a new category for this so let's go ahead and go into the focus on now and click add category. I'm gonna put in doggy daycare and I'm gonna put $100 in here. So I've already kind of have an idea of where I wanna put the money. Um, so where this money came from is I have been working extra shifts at the bakery. I do work a part-time job at a bakery. So I have been trying to take this extra money and toward, put it towards my financial goals. So this is the accumulation of a few different shifts. It's not like I made this all in one day. I wish I did, but I didn't. I have $300 remaining. I'm kind of leaning towards splitting this up between the Roth IRA and the student loans. So my student loans, when they go back into repayment, I did enter an income-driven repayment plan. I wanna make a video about my strategy towards student loans. I just haven't really finalized them um, because I keep changing my mind on what I wanna do. But my general strategy, towards student loans is to pay the monthly payment per month, which is based off of my income, instead of a standard monthly repayment. And then most likely I'm going to target my highest interest rate or my highest loan balance or my lowest loan balance. <laughs> See what I mean by I don't really know yet. Um, it might change from week to week or month to month simply because I'm indecisive. And I am very much a progress driven person. So as I see progress, it makes me more and more motivated. All that to be said, from my actual um, Transfer Tuesday this week, I think I'm only going to put $50 towards it. So let me see where the student loan category even is. Let's put it towards this one so i have a student loan that's at a 5.05 percent interest rate and i'm kind of leaning towards this being the first one that i pay off so i'm going to put 50 dollars into this so let's go ahead and do that and then finally i want to take the 250 dollars and put it into my roth ira so if i do that 
That puts me at $277.07 total for the Roth IRA. So let me grab my phone and we can discuss like how much how much progress I've actually made towards these goals. So my contributions to date leading up to this point was $650 or 10%. So now when I add the 277.07, I'll submit that. Okay, 650 plus 277 is $927.07. So if I divide that by 6,500, I am 14% or 14.2% the way there to funding my Roth IRA. If we look at my student loans, obviously the math will get kind of wonky once interest um, starts accruing on them again in a couple days. But for my student loans, if I subtract out $50 divided by 220,074, 68, I am not even 1% of the way there towards paying them off. So definitely gonna be slower and steadier wins the race for my student loans. Um, I primarily have a goal to spend more money towards, put more of my actual full-time job income towards my student loans. So that's where most of the money is going to come for that until my Roth IRA is fully funded. And then if I have extra money after fully funding my Roth IRA, I'm going to start throwing it towards the student loans. Yeah, so it's kind of a work in progress is basically what I'm saying. But yeah. Um, so if I take 6500 minus 927.07, I still need to contribute $5,572.93 towards my Roth IRA. If I take $22,074.68 minus 50, I still need to contribute $22,024.68 towards my student loans. So lots and lots of Transfer Tuesdays will be on their way in the future. But thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up as it really helps out my channel. If you want to see more budgeting content, go ahead and subscribe and stick around. But other